I mean, he looks like he's 52 years of age. Richardson in for Bell. Charlie Bell with some big rebounds, comes out of the ball game. Lute, who took a program that really had very little tradition, no tradition, 1-17 in, in the Pac-10 the year before he got there. 4-24 on the year. Yeah, by the fifth year, he had him in the Final Four with Kerr and Tolbert and that whole group. This is the fourth time he's brought the Cats here. They're trying to get to the championship. In the Final Four, Jim Nance and Billy Packer, and uh, Billy, take us down the stretch here. What do you expect we're going to see? Well, one of the things I think now that Arenas is back that really helps Arizona because they can extend offensively what they can do out there right now. I think for Michigan State, you've got to find a way to score. I think Zach Randolph's the guy to get the ball to down inside, make everything collapse, and then try to hit out. Jason Richardson has not been a factor in his game offensively, Jim. He has got to hit some shots. He's made only one of eight, and you can see it was going to be a difficult day after his first attempt. Was well, blocked by Jefferson, yeah, and there was more to come. He's doing exactly to Richardson what he did to the Big Ten player of the year last week, Frank Williams. Well, Frank Williams and Richardson were the two best players in the league, so he's making their lives miserable. Absolutely. And here's that zone again. Let's see if he can get the shot off. Walton's on him on that shot. Good recovery by Guy. Decided to pass on and Woods stuffs it. Last touch That's by Arizona. Three. Is that Lauren Woods' third block? It that is. gives him 20 for the NCAA tournament so far. And he didn't even have to jump on that one. Watch this block. He doesn't even jump. Holds his hand straight up and says to Zach, you're a little too small, fella, to put that shot up in my face. <laughs> The only thing that's held Warren Woods back from being a great, great college player is himself. Richardson, now one of nine, and it's tipped up and finally in by Hudson. There's that rebounding power on the offensive glass. Three tries for Michigan State. Hudson had only two at halftime. Now he's got 14 for the game, trying to mount a huge comeback for his Spartans, who are down 20 at one point in this half. Woods, beautiful drop step, nothing there, and Richardson plucks it out of the air. Boy, that was like the war game that Michigan State loves oh, to play. Oh, stolen back over. by Arenas. Jefferson between two defenders puts it down. He doesn't hang on the rim that time. And again, Richardson, who is an incredible leaper, realizes he just can't hang up there with Jefferson when he's got the lead. That may have been the killer moment for the Spartans who had possession down 10 with seven-plus minutes to play. It's a four-point turnaround with that steal. And another, here's another one. Just Cross amazing how many times Gardner into the line. And that may do it. That's the ball game, Jim. I'll tell you why. The cross-court passing. Look at Tom Izzo. He said, what team is playing in this game? I don't recognize them. We're talking about a situation here where Michigan State has been tremendous this year, not turning the ball over. They're not only, not, uh, only turning it over today, Jim. They're turning it over, leading to open, uncontested, repeatedly, fast-break baskets. They get up in the air, they're throwing balls cross court, bad angle passes, and Arizona with great anticipation really taking advantage of it. And it's back to a 15 point lead for the Wildcats. There have to be at least six breakaways today on bad cross court passes. They look identical. Yeah. Richardson doesn't make the shot because he knows Jefferson is coming. Normally he just elevates and looks over the traffic. Arenas. Great decision by Arenas. Inside, wide open right. Beautiful job by Arenas. Tom Izzo has seen enough. This Arizona team really clicking now. A stretch that looks like will put the champions away. Not to take that shot, makes the play. He cuts across, and look at where Wright is. Wide open. Really great basketball there. Unselfish play. Arenas realizing we can get a better shot with this kind of lead. You don't need to go ahead and take that shot with nobody under. Arizona just playing a great second half. You saw the seven-point stretch with just a minute elapsed in that stretch. It's a starting five for Arizona that can all beat you offensively and also great skills giving it up. Passing it around Jefferson with that assist. Well, since the last time that I saw Arizona, the biggest change to me is Jefferson. He Over has become just a perfect super... Oh, Woods is down. I think he's hurt. He's... Uh, to his feet, that was an over-the-back foul on Jason Richardson. Let's check the CBS Sports line stat of the game in the backcourt, starting backcourt, that is. Richardson 
and Bell with six Arizona's tandem Arenas Gardner 28. It's a one and one for Jefferson. Woods uh, hurt his wrist a little bit, Jim, when he came down. Edgerson is going to go into the ball game and looks for him a little bit. Maybe he's even got a scratch on there. Looks like they're putting a Band-Aid on it. There may be a little blood on the arm. So Edgerson comes in. In the meantime, boy, you hear so many people complimenting this man at the line right now. And it's so impressive. One and one here. Is he so complete, an 11 point scorer who doesn't even have to score to beat you? His mother and father, the missionaries we spoke of who have traveled around the world and uh, joining their son here at the Final Four. Well, as you said, Frankie Williams was held to three for 15. He is so versatile, Jim, as a defensive player. I mean, you can see him guarding a, a, a big forward. You see him guarding a small forward, going out and playing a guard at either position. Another turnover. They, it's, it's like somebody has already faxed them the play and said, this is where we're going to throw it, and they're in that position before the spark. Well, what really amazes me is these have all been cross-court telegraph passes by a veteran basketball team. You just don't throw that pass. Woods wasn't out for long, and all smiles for Edgerson, his usual all-out effort off the bench. 11 steals in the game, only two on the Michigan State side, 11 for the Cats. And I'm not going to take anything away from Arizona, Jim, calling them steals, but they really were passes that probably never should have been thrown in the first place on about half of those. But you did say Arizona came out right away in this half with the quick feet. They sure did. And that's what started them all. Hudson. Nice play by Hudson on the inside. Really froze right that time. But two big deficit now to try to come back just on the offensive end. Michigan State has got to create turnovers if they're going to get back in this game. Woods outside again. He can shoot, but oh, Arena's <laughs> flat-footed, able to follow it up. You know why? Great blocking out technique. So now Michigan State seeing some of their own drills work against them. Bell, just a disaster outside for this starting backcourt and right. Right and Jefferson in there. This has been a great rebounding exhibition by Arizona. All five Arizona starters in double figures. They average double figures on the season. They've done it again today against last year's champions. Jefferson. Right battling Hudson on the inside. Sunday on CBS, 60 Minutes, then Touched by an Angel, and the CBS Sunday movie, Never Let Her Go, starring Mark Harmon and Rachel Ward. And Aganyo out. Arenas is also out right to the bench. And Jim, Arenas is going out, I think, to see that trainer again. I think that he feels that pinch in the back again. And I think Lute Olsen very concerned going down here. I doubt if we'll see him back in this game. Richardson saying, get me away from number 44 so I can get a shot off. There he there it is. He's open as he's had all day, and he hits it. Remember the beginning of the game, Jim? I said that he should not be on the side of the zone where Jefferson is. That time he faded out to the top and got a better look on his jump shot. But it's taken him till 4 minutes and 25 seconds to find out where he needed to be. It's only the second three of the game for the Spartans in 13 attempts. Going to be bringing in Brandon Smith. The next whistle, Michigan State. Gardner stepped back, three back of the rim. Walton fights for it. Spartans have an advantage, and Richardson unable to handle. I have not seen this team throw the ball away like this ever. Tom Izzo buries his hands in disbelief this basketball game points off of turnovers 25 for Arizona 10 for Michigan State there's your 15 point lead right there it's amazing Michigan State has been a great team assist turnover ratio 132 better assists than turnovers coming in this game so we're looking at a Michigan State that Tom Izzo has not seen all year and outside Smith called for that in Arizona late in the year. Ten straight wins coming into the Final Four, including a win at Stanford when the Cardinal was ranked number one. 
And we're looking at a free throw shooting team that is yeah. really a good one. Proved their medal last week in the last three minutes against Illinois, knocking down about 80% in the last three minutes. Well, 43 of 56 for the game. So this is a team, even their bigger people like Lauren Woods, who's been outstanding in the tournament from the free throw line. Nobody weak from the line on the club. Run into the one and one by Gardner. Lute Olsen has to love the way this team has played, and I'm going to say it all started with Jefferson. I really think that he is the key ingredient in this club now with his versatility on defense. Hey, Woods also came out and started this game, yep. and you knew it was going to be a big effort, a spirited effort by Woods from the start. And, and then all the, the way. And the second half, the way Wright started positioning himself inside. You can almost make a, a case about every starter on that team today. That's Hudson. Why, that's why they're going to be in the championship game. Hudson with 18, 16 of them coming in this half. Been a great competitor. Arenas with three minutes to go, and Lute Olson about to extend his stay here in Minneapolis, where he used to live, where he went to college at Augsburg. Came down from North Dakota to go to college here. Didn't want to go to a big school like the University of North Dakota, he told us, there in Grand Fork. There's a foul on that oh, shot. No Arena call. steals Another it steal. again. That one was telegraphed. And realizes that the clock is his teammate. So instead of taking a bad shot, pulls it back out. Smart play. Chappelle picked off on the screen by Edgerson. But again, they'll kick it out and use the full 35. Want to get fouled here. Arenas. Yep, they, they want to get fouled. Very smart playing by this Arizona club. The steals and the easy baskets. It's just been one replay after another. It really is, Jim. And there's that court, cross court passing in the back court. Doesn't make any sense at all because the passes are telegraphed and lead to a break where you don't even have anybody back defensively to cover. Double bonus, two shots for Arenas. Ooh, and that was so far short, you had to wonder if that wasn't influenced by the injury. Yeah. Barely got to the front of the rim. Well, I'm surprised he came back in this game because he was wincing when he went out. See how he's starting to roll yeah. the neck and yeah. trying to get his arms straightened out again? I think he yeah. really ought to come out of this ball game. And shrugging a grimace. Yeah. He just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Gets it to go. We're talking about a team 75% from the line as a club. 80% in the NCAA yeah. tournament. Oh, nice fake by Hudson. Beautiful fake. One last memorable performance for Andre Hudson. Throws the seven-footer on that one. But not enough time for Michigan State to make a comeback here the way they were able to do in the NCAA tournament last year. Hudson's tied his season high with this 20-point effort. But just a minute, 45 to go. And Arizona will be riding an 11-game win streak into the championship game Monday night. Jefferson. It'll be Jefferson. Good job on the board. Kept alive and finally Randolph snags it. Jim, that'll be 20 out of 22 wins for this club. Yep, started 8 and 5 on the season. Edgerson with a strong rebound. The kindergarten teacher comes back. Yes, took the year off that Edgerson a year ago, redshirt year, to get his teacher certificate. He taught kindergarten. Wants to be kindergarten teach school teacher when it's all over. He's got to have a soft side to him. Could you imagine being in kindergarten and he walks into class the first day? Still meets with the kids from his <laughs> class a year ago. Been a great man for the community in Tucson. By way of New Orleans, Jefferson, I tell you what, he does it. He's a very unselfish player. When he shoots, he has some stroke. He really does. He is really stepping forward now and has been the player of this game, setting the stage for his team. 17 for Jefferson, 16 in the second half. Timeout, Michigan Mountain, Michigan. College teammates, best men in each other's wedding. And there's Lupe. Now we can see her. Third straight, final four. They uh, had only lost four times, this team, all season long. Lost to Indiana, last second shot. Ohio State, Illinois, Penn State. Incredible follow-up. Tom Izzo saying that he really thought before the year, Sweet 16 would be uh, quite a run. 
He had uh, this paranoia he talked about. He had heard from so many coaches who had won a championship. They all told him, you're going to change. Your team's going to change. You're going to get fat and sassy, and so will you. Your team will. But they didn't. They fought hard all year. Came back one of the Big Ten championship, and they're taking out the starters now on the Arizona side. Coaches and players have for each other. Class act. 